I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, and welcome to our podcast, For the Health of It. Remember to subscribe to our podcasts, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. The information presented on this program is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Are you suffering needlessly? Dr. Joe can give you advice on how to naturally get well and stay well. Dr. Joe Esposito. What we're talking about today is increasing your productivity. Because one of the big questions we get all the time from our patients is, Dr. Joe, I'm tired all the time. What can I do to get energy? Now, you can do supplements. I mean, you can do coffee, of course, which I'm not a fan of in any way, shape, or form. Um, but many times when I get patients on supplements, they're amazed. They feel so much better, and they don't need to drink their coffee, and they find they eat a lot less. I remember years ago when somebody came to me and said, Dr. Joe, I can't afford not to take supplements. And I didn't understand that. I said, what do you mean you can't afford not to take supplements? He goes, when, when I take my supplements, I have so much more energy, I'm so much more productive, and I eat less. So the money I'm saving on food more than pays for the quality supplements. And I thought, interesting twist, because I don't eat a lot of food. And I, I mean, I eat very little, actually. And, and I save a ton of money on food because I don't, I eat good foods, which are very cheap. So when well, people say, well, what would I take? What supplements can I take? I get this question all the time on the website. So if you go to our website, drjoe.com, this show will be on the website. Of course, you could listen to this show. And supplement-wise, minimum supplements, everybody should be taking your super greens and essential source. That's the minimum supplements. They're two powders. They taste great. I mix them together, shake it up with coconut milk, almond milk. Uh, if it's a hot summer day, sometimes I'll just take some frozen bananas and throw it in there and whip it up. woo getting crazy. And it kind of makes like an ice cream. Uh, Dr. Joe's nitric oxide, I can't take it at night. I have to take it in the morning. It gives me so much energy. Um, and it's great for increasing circulation to your brain, your reproductive organs. It really helps in many, many areas. Uh, B-complex, another source of great energy. Um, uh, adrenal support helps the adrenal glands work more efficiently, and that's, the, that's where you produce a lot of your energy, like adrenaline. So super greens, essential source, nitric oxide, B-complex, and adrenal support. And if you start there, or even with some of those, uh, chances are you're going to be really happy with the results and you're going to say, okay, now I get it. I don't need the coffee. I don't need the stimulants. I don't have to fall asleep at work anymore. And uh, we had a patient in the other day and he was uh, a smoker and a drug addict. And his father was with him, very concerned about him. And he says, uh, he says, what can we do to help my son? And I said, well, many times when it comes to addictions, it's because the brain isn't working. The dopamine receptor sites aren't working. You're not producing dopamine. You may, not have, a, you may have a low number of dopamine receptor sites genetically, so if we can get the dopamine internally up, you don't need to stimulate it from an external source. And uh, in many cases, we've had addicts come in and we work with them from nutrition standpoint, chiropractic standpoint, digestive standpoint. And in many cases, we get great results. Again, I'm not making many promises. I'm not saying we can fix anything for sure. But I know after 37 years of doing this, I see our result. Our track record is, is crazy. So when you're stressed out, you're tired, what, what else can we do to really increase our productivity? Uh, of course, eating right is the most important thing. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds is going to be the, the key to everything. If you don't know what to eat, go to our website, drjoe.com, and type in, so what can I eat? And it'll bring up a, a lecture that we did on, so what can I eat? And it tells you breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks. Uh, the first book I ever wrote called Eating Right for the Health of It is a great guide on what to eat. It's Eating Right for the Health of It. It's on the website as well, drjoe.com. Make sure you do eat. Because one of the things that happens in my life, and I don't know if it happens in your life, but if I'm working really hard, I'm going crazy, I'm trying to do a thousand things, I may not have time to eat. And with me, I don't get hungry right away. I get shaky. I notice my hands start to shake. And if I'm walking, I might feel like I'm a little off balance. And I'll go, you know what? I haven't eaten anything. So you might want to have snacks available. Uh, nuts are great to keep around. Now, if the nuts taste rancid, and I did this the other day, I had some cashews and they, t they didn't taste quite right, threw them away. Rancid oils are extremely dangerous. So don't say, well, it doesn't taste that bad. If it doesn't taste perfect uh, and it has oil in it, throw it away 100% of the time. Now, if you just bought it, bring it back to the store. Say, hey, these are rancid. I don't want to eat them. But don't ignore your hunger. When it finally comes to you know uh, mid-afternoon and you haven't had a lunch yet, and if, you, if you're like me, I have to eat or else I get shaky, uh, that can really start to look, decrease your productivity. And I see it. I get shaky. I, I'm not my thinking as well as I should. My energy level starts to drop. I eat a couple of handfuls of nuts. Boom. Right back on track again. So don't, don't let that go. So make sure you're taking your lunch break. And also when you take your lunch break, what's the key word there? You're taking a break. Your brain needs to reboot. You just can't work eight hours, 10 hours a day straight through. It's not the way the brain is designed to work. 
Another trick that I do, and this is going to be hard to explain on the radio, is do something called a cross crawl. Now, if I had to give you one exercise to give you energy, it's going to be the cross crawl. What that is, is you stand up and you march in place. But here's the key. You got to remember, you do, make sure you do this right. You bring your right elbow and, and bring up your left knee and bring your right elbow to your left knee. Then bring your left elbow to your right knee. Because the brain is designed to be integrated, not segregated. So what we do all day, if we're sitting around all day, whether you're watching TV or working on a computer or playing video games, we're using usually one side of our brain more than the other. So for me, I'm right-handed. I work the mouse, I brush my teeth, I start my car. I'm using the right side of my body a lot more than I use the left side of my body. And so the right side of the body is stimulating the left side of the brain. And so my left side of my brain is more active than my right side of my brain. And that's when the brain doesn't work real well. The brain needs to be integrated. I need to be using the left and right side of my body to stimulate the left and right side of my brain. So a real neat trick you can do, and if you're, if you're working from home or if you're sitting around, every hour, set a timer, whether it's on your clock or your, uh, on your phone or whatever it is or your, in your computer. And when it goes off, I want you to stand up and do 30 seconds of cross crawl. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Now... You may try this and it doesn't make sense to you because you're not bringing your right arm to your left leg and it's, it's not making sense. That We call that your brain is switched. So you have to focus. And when I do live lectures back in the old days, uh, I'd have everybody stand up, especially if it was a long lecture. Like I'll be, if I teach postgraduate work for doctors or lawyers, um, many times I'll do a four-hour seminar. Every hour, I make them stand up. I have them do a cross crawl, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. And inevitably, somebody in the audience is not going to be able to do it. And they're looking around and it's like, I don't understand it. My brain isn't processing this. So I'll walk up to them and I'll say, all right, give me your right elbow. I want you to bring it to your left knee. I have to walk them through slowly. And then the left elbow to the right knee. And after I reboot their brain, it's amazing. So if I can teach you one simple exercise that I do, right, right before a show, I do this. It's kind of funny. I'm in the studio and everybody starts laughing at me if I'm, if I'm doing my live shows at, at, at radio studios because the other people in the studio are laughing. But you know what? I catch them all doing it now. Ahmad is one of my producers. I'll stand there, I'll look through the window, and he's doing his cross crawl, and I'll catch him. I say, yeah, you laugh, you know. Um, but that's a great way to increase productivity and increase energy. If you do it every hour, you'll be blown away. It's crazy how quickly that works. Um, if you do it every hour, just for 30 seconds. I remember uh, one time I was, I was uh, doing a workshop at a high school, and I said, how many basketball players are here? And you know, a couple of kids raised their hands. So I brought one kid out, and I said, shoot a foul shot. And he did, no problem. And I said, okay, I want you to mess up your brain. I want you to march right arm, right leg, left arm, left leg. That's exact opposite of what I just said. It should be right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. And I messed up his brain. I said, try to hit a foul shot. Couldn't even come close to the basket. So then I had him do the cross crawl, right arm, and he shot a basket again. It was in front of everybody, so it was really impressive. So that's a real great trick that you can do to really increase your productivity. And I love it. It's, and I, I do it quite a bit. And you can do this anytime you get up. If you go to the bathroom, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Now, if you're working in a, in a business, people might think you're crazy, but that's okay. They probably listen to the show and they know what you're doing anyway. But when you take your lunch break, take it away from your desk. Go outside if you can. Uh, go for a walk if you can. In our uh, Marietta office, we have uh, one of our offices is upstairs in a three-story building, and we have a balcony. And I strongly advise my staff to come up to the balcony and take a lunch break. Because they're outside, they're getting sunlight, they're getting fresh air, and it gets you away from that blue light that comes off the screens and the computers that can really mess up your brain. And of course, eat mindfully. Volume is so important as uh, uh, your quantity and quality. So if you're going to eat this big, massive monster meal, high in proteins, we talk about that in the first half of the show, high in proteins, high in carbohydrates, you're going to crash. I don't care who you are, you're going to crash. Now, many people will do that and then say, well, I got to have coffee to counteract the lunch. Well, don't eat a bad lunch. You won't need the coffee. Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, if you work inside the home, uh, make sure you have a good health work, healthy work environment. Have a good chair. As a chiropractor, of course, we see people with back pain all the time, every, literally every day, seven days a week usually. Um, and so you got to make sure you have a good chair. Make sure you're in a good environment. Try to get as much natural light in as you can. If, if you have an option, work in a room that has a window in it. Open the window, open the drapes, get the light in. That's going to help tremendously because natural light is so important for productivity. If you get the opportunity, do something called sunning, S-U-N-N-I-N-G. Go outside, close your eyes, and then look up to the sun. Make sure your eyes are closed, of course. And the radiant light will get into your eyes and it can help stimulate the brain. And you want to do this, you know, 30 seconds a minute if you can. 
Um, and it's also a good opportunity to get some sunlight to help build up the vitamin D, which is so important for the immune system, especially if there's, I don't know, health crisis going around. So get out in the sun, close your eyes and look up at the sun. It's amazing how relaxing that is too. You're having a stressful day. Uh, things are going nutsy. Maybe you have kids at home. Uh, the, the computer breaks or the, whatever, the faucet backs up. Just do about a, a one minute of sunning. Incredible how it increase your energy and how it'll calm you down as well. It's really a neat little trick there. You got to stay hydrated. If I have to give you one nutrition tip on what you can do to stay, keep your energy level is you have to stay hydrated. When you were a kid, there was a part of your brain, hypothalamus, that controlled hunger and another part of the hypothalamus that controlled thirst. So if you're ever around a baby, babies, oh, I want to drink, I want to drink, I want to drink. They're always asking for fluids. As you get older, those two parts of the brain separate. Now you have uh, one part of the brain that controls hunger. One, I'm sorry, it was separate as, as a child. And you can distinguish between hunger and thirst. I had that backwards. As you get older, the two parts of the brain grow together and you have a tough time distinguishing between hunger and thirst. So most of the time, when you're hungry, you're not hungry, you're thirsty. So if you're drinking fluid all day, water is the best thing for you. Uh, you want to you know, spice it up a little bit, maybe put some lime juice. I like fresh lime juice or fresh lemon juice. Maybe a little touch of stevia in there. And if you keep yourself hydrated, you will be amazed how much more energy you have. And many times when you're hungry, if you drink a lot of water, the hunger goes away because you're not hungry or thirsty because it's the same part of the brain that's trying to distinguish between hunger and thirst. So staying hydrated is going to be the key. And the one way to tell if your urine is clear or just has a very light color, you're probably doing fine. Now, if you're taking Dr. Joe's B-Complex, chances are your urine is going to be yellow for the first couple of urinations after you take it. That's okay. That's just the excess B vitamins being flushed out. But make sure your urine has a good natural color to it, clear or slightly tinted. If the urine has an odor to it, that's not a good sign unless you eat asparagus. So these are signs you may be dehydrated. But boy, I tell you what, if you drink enough water, you will have so much energy. So we got a lot to cover here. I know I'm not going to cover it all. I know that. But just make sure you're staying on top of things. Fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, and what to eat. Cross crawl as far as an energy goes. Uh, water as your number one food to give you energy. Supplement-wise, Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, which everybody should be taking. If you want to really enhance it, nitric oxide. Dr. Joe's Nitric Oxide gives you a burst of energy and opens up your blood vessels. B-Complex, necessary for nerve function, gives you a burst of energy. And then adrenal support supports the adrenals because the adrenal glands produce adrenaline. So now we're setting up what? A protocol. Things that you can do to increase your productivity. And it's not hard. It's actually pretty easy. Also, you got to make sure you breathe. Because if you sit at a desk all day, you're going to hunch over. When you hunch over, you compress the lungs. The lung capacity decreases when you hunch over. I remember years ago, I knew a girl. What was her name? Can't remember. Anyway, but she was a respiratory therapist. And she had a spirometer. It's a machine that you blew into to measure your, your lung capacity. And uh, so we did an experiment together because she was, she was a respiratory therapist. And we, we sat up straight blew into the uh, spirometer and we measured how much lung capacity we had. And we did this on several people. Then we hunched over like we're sitting in a chair, did it again, uh, uh, air volume dropped dramatically. So just by sitting up straight is going to increase your air capacity and you need oxygen to have energy. So that's really important. So make sure you're breathing. Take a, if, you, if you do hunch down a lot, once again, set your timer on your computer and then take 10 deep breaths. If nothing else, get that oxygen into the body. It's so important. Another thing to increase productivity is don't multitask. You think you can do five things at once. I'm a superman. I can do five things at once. No, I can't. I think I can, but I can't. It's like I still think I'm in high school when it comes to sports, but I'm not. So, um, so make sure that you try not to multitask and keep your focus on one thing at a time. One of the tricks I do, and I, I, I'm training Garrett to do this too, is use little sticky notes. And right before the show, we were talking about this, and, and Sierra said that, uh, <laughs> what, 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 tell, tell them what you said, because I, I love the way you've put it. What, that I have a whole notepad? or Yeah. Yeah, because I need lots of notes. Yeah, she's so. got like, a, 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 I use <laughs> I those. Have, <laughs> yeah, Dr. Joe just uses like the typical like sticky notes that are just the small squares, but I have an entire lined notepad so that I can take detailed notes since Dr. Joe speaks a lot. <laughs> I have to make sure I get everything that he wants. <laughs> yeah, and it works really well. And I like the kind that have stickiness all the way across the back. Those yeah. are my favorite. Garrett, Garrett has one in his hand right now, as a matter of fact. <laughs> And I love those because with just a little tab of stickiness, the, those don't stay anywhere. If they, they have it's, it's stickiness all the way across the back. You can stick them on anything. 
And, uh, and I remember when Garrett first started working with us, he 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 was he looked at my car one day, and, and they're <laughs> everywhere. They're all across the dash. They're in the center console. They're everywhere. <laughs> and he didn't he didn't know what to, what he's getting into when he took this job actually, and he was kind of like. Is that normal? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I've got them all over my dashboard. I got them everywhere. My house, I have them next to my bed. And uh, many times I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll write something down and I'll stick it just on the wall behind my bed. I wake up in the morning, I'll look at, oh, what did I write last night? And I'd say 80% of the time you can't read my handwriting when I'm awake. Jeez. So <laughs> oh, can only imagine sleeping, Dr. Joe. Sleeping, Dr. Joe, writing notes <laughs> in the dark, okay? <laughs> But what I'll do is I'll leave it on my desk for a while. And usually after a couple of days, I'll go, oh, oh, it's, it's starting to form. It's starting to sh- take shape, and I'll remember what it was. So uh, write notes down because you're not going to remember things. In fact, if you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, which you do, right? Everyone needs to be following us on Facebook and Instagram. It's at Dr. Joe Esposito. And every day, Sierra posts a health tip. And sometimes it's about gardening, sometimes it's about food, sometimes it's recipes. And one of them that I did recently that everybody was laughing at, but they really liked it, even one of the people at the studio was saying they really liked it, was I have an underwater writing tablet. It's a little square, and I'm a scuba diver. So we use this. When you dive, you'll write a note, and you'll show somebody. Now we've advanced a long way, and now you can actually talk to people while you're diving. But way back when, you have to write something down. It's a pencil, and I can keep it in my shower. And so if I have ideas... I'll write it down in the shower. Because how many people have amazing ideas in the shower every day? Everyone does, right? Sierra's nodding her head. Garrett's nodding his head. Yeah. You have these great ideas. You've got to remember. And I would remember even trying to write it in the glass, in the steam. And then hopefully I remember it later on. I'd put soap on my finger and write it. And then I thought, no, this is perfect. So they're about $10 maybe. And you can write things down. That's going to increase productivity because then you don't have to worry about remembering things. So sticky pads are great. Sticky notes are great. Uh, writing in your shower is great. Um, and these are things that you can do to keep productivity. Now, um, you can use your phone. You can have voice you know, uh, reminders in the phone as well. But these are just little tips I'm trying to give you to remember things. And if you're at work, uh, whether it's home or at, at work, and suddenly this great idea pops into your mind, just scribble it down. You'll be amazed at your, uh, your increased pro- uh, productivity. And that's what we're talking about today, if you're just tuning in, how to increase your productivity. Make sure you honor your personal boundaries. Establish at least some degree of balance in the universe, uh, in your real life and your work life. Uh, And you need to sometimes say no. And I know sometimes that's hard to do. And uh, my my office manager, uh, Damon and I, we talk about this a lot, is trying to set boundaries um, and make sure you you, you focus on that. And then taking time off is really important too. Uh, We find that when people take time off, they're actually more productive. You need that downtime. So maybe take you know, one weekend a month, if you're not somebody who does this on a regular basis, I try to do it every weekend, and just go do something that you really like doing, whether it's hiking waterfalls or going kayaking or, uh, I don't know, go, going to estate sales, whatever it is that can really take you away from work and really give you that escape, that's going to help tremendously. Uh, most people are deficient in magnesium, and so taking a bath with, uh, with Epsom salts is very good to calm you down and relax you. But the magnesium interacts with vitamin D to help the immune system work more efficiently. So if you're sick, you're certainly not going to be healthy and you're not going to be productive. So even to unwind and relax, an Epsom salt bath might be something good. And there's multiple reasons to do that. It relaxes your muscles, but it also gets magnesium into the body. And that works uh, tremendously well. And you want to stay active. We talked about the cross crawl, of course. Get up every hour. Um, Move around. You got to do that, folks. I don't care how busy you are. Get up and move around. Um, And try to sneak in extra movements. So how can you do that? Like we said, when you're walking to the bathroom, cross crawl. Drink a lot of water. You got to go pee a lot. When you pee, you can cross crawl. So sneak in that extra movement. Stand up if you can. Many times when I do radio shows, I do the show standing up. And I think me and Clark Howard down at WSB Radio are the only two people that actually do them standing up. Everybody else sits down. And I've tried to get a lot of my coworkers to stand up. It's amazing because you open up your lungs. You breathe better. And it's a way to sneak in um, some extra work, so some extra movement. And that's the key is try to move as much as you possibly can. We are not meant to be sedentary. We are meant to be uh, in motion all the time. A neat little thing you can do to keep, increase your productivity is clean your house. Because when you clean your house, you're moving back and forth. Uh, I, have a, I have no carpets in my house at all. Uh, everything is tile and hardwoods. So I have a steam mop. So I fill up my steam mop and I'll do my kitchen and then I'll go and do the, the keeping room and then the living room and, uh, you know, the dining area. 
And I don't have a lot of stuff in my house. People laugh when they come to my house. They say, just move in. I said, no, I've been here for a while. So, um, But having extra stuff can, many times can be a stress for people too. So I find a minimalist lifestyle really is, is works best for me. That takes the stress off me so I can be more productive. And then when I clean, it's a lot easier to clean too. So sneak in extra movements every chance you possibly can. And you know, get a standing desk perhaps. Standing desks work real well. Um, they have uh, 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 treadmill desks. I'm not sure I'm a fan of these. I've never tried one, but I can't imagine uh, balancing and trying to do all that and staying productive. But some people can do it. If you like it, great. I support that 100%. I think that's a great idea. So let me cover some other foods because uh, we're running out of time here and I know everybody wants to know what to eat. These are some foods I want you to just add to your shopping list and eat them if you can every day. Beets are amazing. Try to do organic. Uh, what happens is beets are packed with a lot of nutrients. Uh, they have nitrates in them, and nitrates converts it to nitric oxide. Nitric oxide increases your circulation. That's why I recommend Dr. Joe's nitric oxide support. Uh, but beets are also high in uh, iron, and iron can help carry oxygen through the body. So something to consider, too, is your iron level. Now, what you can do is you can pay to get a blood, blood test done to test your iron, or if you just want to test your iron, go donate blood. When you donate blood, they test your iron for you for free. So uh, beets are great because they have a lot, they're high in fiber. So they push food through the colon slowly. They give you a slow release of energy. Try to do organic. Whenever I have something that grows underground, I do recommend you do organic and beets is one of them. Broccoli is great. Loaded with fiber, but it's really great for your brain because it's high in something called choline. And as far as vegetables go, eggs are high in choline. Again, I don't recommend you eat eggs, but broccoli is also high in choline and that helps your brain function more efficiently. Uh, was it last night? I think it was. I just took some uh, cauliflower and broccoli frozen. I put a little olive oil on it, some salt and pepper, and broiled it. Awesome. Unbelievable, unbelievably delicious. Uh, very inexpensive. The frozen bags are buck and a quarter, buck fifty for organic. And it's always there because I didn't have anything planned for dinner last night. So I said, I'm just going to have some broccoli and cauliflower. And it was amazing. But the choline is really good uh, for brain development and memory function. So that's why broccoli is something you want to add to your diet. Uh, green tea, if you're going to do green tea, I'm okay with that. It does have a little bit of caffeine, so just be careful with that. How about this one? You're going to like this one. Dark chocolate. If you're going to do chocolate, it's got to be organic dark chocolate. And only about the size of your, your, your thumb joint, the one joint in your thumb. Small amounts of organic dark chocolate um, can actually help. I, again, I'm not a big fan of the caffeine in there, but they have uh, magnesium. We talked about magnesium, how important that is for brain function. And then you're going to give yourself a little treat. Now, be careful because a little treat can become a big treat. If I have one bite of chocolate, well, that means I can have two. Two is better. Then three is better. No, 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 no. I'm trying to give you a little something here, not be such a slave driver. Almonds are great. One ounce uh, can give you about 37% of your vitamin E, and that's essential for protecting the brain against aging. And again, when you're eating these fruits and vegetables, you're going to get a lot of what's called antioxidants. Antioxidants fight something called free radicals. Free radicals are like Pac-Man. They eat through things, waka, 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 waka. And they can eat through your brain. They can eat through your skin. They can break down your collagen. Now, there are things we can do to regenerate collagen. Um, there's radio frequency techniques that you can use to actually make you look younger um, uh, to help tighten up the collagen. Um, but if you're eating a lot of free radicals, it's going to break down the collagen. So really, the best thing you do is to not eat the free radicals or expose yourself to the free radicals. And things like almonds, Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds are going to give you a ton of antioxidants. Uh, sweet potatoes are much better than regular potatoes. They're not really potatoes, by the way, but that's another story. Um, they're nutrient-dense, great source of vitamin A and vitamin C, great source of fiber, and they digest slowly. So they push the food through the colon, giving you a slow release of energy. And again, get the bad foods out of the house. That's the one thing I want to get into your mind here to increase productivity. If they're in the house, you're going to eat them. If they're not in the house, you're not going to eat them. And then fill your house up. Maybe bags of baby carrots, uh, pre-sliced celery. Hummus is great. Real easy, quick meals. Uh, depending on the season, cherries, blueberries. Or you can do frozen berries if you want to. And at least super greens an essential source every day. That's going to help tremendously with increasing your productivity. So folks, I'm almost out of time. If you have any other questions, go to my website, drjoe.com. Type in what you're looking for, high blood pressure, diabetes, energy. Chances are we've done shows and articles on it. You could listen to those shows. If you still don't get the answer you want, send us the question through the website. We're more than happy to answer it for you. All the supplements we talked about, the super greens, the essential source, the nitric oxide, the B-complex, the adrenal support, available on the website. We can ship them to you or come to our offices and pick them up. Save shipping. I'm all about saving money. 
So we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Uh, if you want to make an appointment to come see us, if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, digestive issues, uh, fibromyalgia, headaches, stop suffering needlessly. Go to our website, drjoe.com. You can book right online or you can call us and we can make an appointment for you right there. All the numbers are on the website. Normally, the first visit, the exam, x-rays, consultation, first adjustment, going over the x-rays and nutrition evaluation on a second visit is $375. We've reduced that to $149. That's not going to be forever, so you want to take advantage of that. We accept most insurances, car accidents, sports injuries. We want to be your doctor to get you well and keep you well. Again, the website, drjoe.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to For the Health Fit. Remember to subscribe to this podcast, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. You can also listen to and call into my radio show live Sunday evenings from 7 to 9 Eastern Time on WSBRadio.com and on a WSB Radio app.